Probably the catalyst for bringing the monks to campus was conversations that were happening with regard to the development of the Center for Faith and Spirituality. And we were at that point in the development where the purpose statement for the center had been crafted. And while the center is still in development, we knew that we were at that point, both for the college and the center and the local community to sponsor the first event, to really put a public face and some public attention on the center's development. And the idea came forth from the college president, Dr. Jim DeLugos. We wanted a space, we wanted to create a space that would really be welcoming to, to people of all faiths, all faith traditions. Uh, really a chance, give them a chance to explore what spirituality might mean in their lives. As uh, members of the college community know, that's an important part of what St. Joseph's College does. It invites people to consider various dimensions of, their, of our existence, uh, and, and faith and spirituality is one of those. I think for St. Joseph's College to be able to have and invite, really not just to have, I think um, to invite seven monks to the campus community, to share with the campus community their culture, their religion, the sacred art form, I think provides great space, literally and figuratively, uh, to invite people into um, another culture, perhaps another tradition, um, perhaps another place in their own sense of who they are in terms of our own spirituality, our own faith, whatever that might mean, um, and really provide that for the campus community, but also for the local community. And I think what we're finding is um, it's resonating. It's resonating for faculty and staff and students. And if the college can leverage resources, can leverage the best of who we are, um, and cultivate that, foster that, I think that's uh, a gift. I think it's an important responsibility that the college has. Buddha. So Buddha means the enlightened beings. In the in the Tibet in the Buddhist tradition, so Buddha means the the person who's the state of mind is free from all kind of afflicted emotion and is the state of mind is being the purified state so and complete with all the you know positive qualities and those qualities when those qualities manifest and it manifests in the different forms and figures and this is the manifestation of the uh, the compassion quality of the enlightened beings so therefore it's a mandala of compassion Buddha, we say that. Wonderful. <laughs>